let's just hope it's focused. Hello my beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. It's Kira. How are you? How am I? I'm great. I'm doing good. I'm going to Italy soon, so I'm stoked. Today, I want to have like a little chat with you guys about a question that I got from a Q&A and I was going to answer it in a Q&A but I felt like answering the question would take a long time because there's a lot of like different parts to it. I actually couldn't find the exact question but it was something along the lines of did you ever feel like you needed to change your style or dress differently once you came out? as bi or gay or whatever. This is a really, really good question. Shout out to whoever sent it in. I, I'm i sorry that I couldn't find it, but um, yeah, I just wanted to talk about like the relationship between sexuality and um, expression, like how you express yourself or present yourself, um, because I feel like that's a really relevant topic especially in my life. When I first came out, I felt like I needed to buy more masculine looking clothes um, because I really enjoy very feminine clothes and I like makeup. I'm like, I'm the femme of the LGBT community. But when I first came out, I was like, oh my God, I'm so femme. No one's gonna know I'm bi or gay or whatever because I look like a straight girl because everyone just assumes that I'm straight and that used to bother me so much. Now it doesn't bother me anymore because I'm like, I don't care how you want to label me. Like, I don't care how you think I look um, because it doesn't really matter to me at all. All that matters is what I think of myself and how I want to present and how I'm comfortable dressing. Anyway, yeah, I remember <laughs> last summer going to the stores and like looking for specifically more masculine clothes. Not even masculine clothes, like I literally bought a pair of joggers with a white line down the side and I was like, this is like my attempt at appearing bisexual or like appearing gay or whatever. I had this this limiting belief that I was never gonna find a girlfriend if none of the gay women knew that I was gay because I look really heterosexual. It's it's really dumb if you think about it because why does sexuality have to do with what you wear or how you present yourself? Like, think about it for a second. Like, and I was talking to someone about this. I was like, why is it that a lot of gay women like dress very similar? Like, why is that? Is there like a science behind that? Like, why? And I feel like it's a lot of different reasons for different people, obviously like different situations. There's different reasons behind things. Some people are trying to, like before they come out, they're trying to mask the fact that they're gay. Um, so I'm talking about specifically women here. So like I've had a lot of friends who say like they try to appear straight, like they tried to, um, like before they came out, like they dressed very femininely, but they didn't feel comfortable. And then once they did come out, they were like, okay, everyone knows now, like I'm okay to be myself and they do feel more comfortable in more masculine clothes. But I feel like some people like me, for example, I was like, oh, I like dresses and skirts and I like being feminine. Um, but when I came out, I was like, shoot, none of the gay women are gonna know that I'm also gay, so I'm never gonna get a girlfriend, which is silly, but now, like, I'm totally, like, past that phase. Um, and that's okay, like, I understand why I thought that way, um, but I just wanted to, like, put it out there that, like, you don't need to. Dress how you're comfortable with. For me, sometimes I am, like, sometimes I wake up and I'm like, yo, I just wanna put on, like, some baggy pants and a plaid and a jean jacket over and like a ball cap and like I wanna present more masculine today and that's just how I'm feeling and that's not because I wanna look more gay. Um, wow, I do this a lot. I do quotation marks a lot. And some days I wake up and I'm like, ooh, I wanna look super feminine today. I'm gonna wear a dress and wear lots of makeup and curl my hair, blah, blah, blah. Like today I was like, ooh, super femme day. Just depends on how I feel on the day. I also have gotten questions, does it ever make you uncomfortable when people assume you're straight or call you straight passing? Like, oh, like you, you pass as straight in society, so you're not a true bisexual or you're not a true lesbian. I've gotten that before and I'm like, are you actually serious? Like, so yeah, I just wanted to talk about that because I think people need to hear it and I feel like 
a lot of girls relate to me on this that like they feel like they kind of have to dress a certain way and totally some people like totally want to dress more masculine and that's what makes them feel comfortable so do that if you're like that do that but if you're more like me I just want to let you know you don't have to do that you don't have to express your sexuality through how you dress or how you appear to the world being like a femme gay woman it is kind of unfortunate that I sometimes do feel like I'm not a part of the LGBT community out in public. Sometimes I want people to know because I want to find friends that I can relate to and I want to be visible. I want to show representation for queer people in public, but me appearing straight, that doesn't happen. But I feel like me just being me is visibility enough whether I am a femme lesbian or whatever you want to call it. Um, so yeah, I feel like just getting my story out there is important because it helps so many people. Because I know when I was coming out and struggling with my sexuality, um, I went to YouTube and I was like, hey, like searching around for people who had similar um, experiences as me. So that's why I want to talk about this because I think it's really important. So anyway, if this video helped you in any way, let me know in the comments. I love you all. Like this video if you like this type of video. Um, I feel like you guys are really digging my LGBT content. I know Pride Month is over, but you know what? Pride Month is every month. <laughs> well, you should always be proud of your identity. Yeah, I don't think Pride Month should only be in June. You can feel proud whenever you want or all the time. That was that, and uh, I'll see you next Tuesday. Bye.